So there I was, sitting at home doing nothing, and my buddy Jim called me up, said, hey man, I need your help, or who I affectionately refer to as Jimmy, Jimmy, Coco, Pop, Jimmy, Jimmy, Pop, inside joke. <laughs> well, yeah, I was at home doing nothing. He said he was out of hours and he needed help getting this up to Sonora, California from Houston, Texas. So I met him up in Barstow and then uh, drove all the way up to Sonora. And because this is a permitted load, uh, we're 97,000 pounds. Uh, we're not allowed to drive in inclement weather. And four miles up the road, it's shut down. Uh, you're chaining up and all that other good stuff. Uh, we're not allowed through it. And we have to go six miles up the road. So we've been waiting for the all clear to uh, to drop this. And then there's another piece of equipment we have to bring back to Modesto and then Rio Vista and then back down to Corona. But anyway, uh, this is a true freaking pleasure to drive. It gives me a break from what I do. Uh, he has an EGR delete on it, turned up to 600, 18 speed, 2050 torque, and just pulling some of the grades. I knew my truck would have downshifted, you know, uh, bogged down, and this sucker just pulled right through it. Uh, this is amazing. This is a 48 foot pit hydraulic RGN with a 26 and a half foot deck. I think this by itself is about 50 something thousand pounds. Uh, but when you're getting down the road at highway speed, it's a bouncing, pulling, jerking, ganking, uh, and you got to be steering on it. Uh, there's no goofing off uh, pulling something like this down the road. According to Jim, this is uh, one of the smaller ones. Uh, he said the biggest one he can legal on this deck would put him at 117,000. But this is eventually what I'd like to get into. Uh, I got I'm facing one more surgery. And then after that, I'd really like to uh, really get into uh, buying my own truck and trailer. And he said he'd get me started. And for that, I'd be forever indebted. Well, on that note, I'll try to shoot some uh, video of uh, removing the gooseneck or throwing the bindings on and off. He's got uh, ratchet binders. I'm used to the snap binders. He's got 5.8 five uh, five eight, five eight inch chains. I'm not sure what grade they are. But I think he's got uh, four up front, four in the back. And uh, it's all air ride, runs straight as an arrow. Um, I was kind of nervous being so low to the ground. That's something new to me. But when on the permit, they dictate your route, your speed, um, you know, day or night. So I just have faith that they know where, where they're sending us. But uh, I'll see if I can get you a close up on the, uh, the binders. With three axles in the rear, he can uh, put 60,000 pounds on the rear, 46,000 pounds on the drives, and I'm not sure if he's got 13.8 on the steers. Uh, he said he wants a heavier front end on this next truck, but uh, he's hauled these so many times he knows where to put them, so he just pull it on. He knows it's legal, uh, crank it down, and he's on his way. But these are five eights, pretty heavy duty. He always said he's uh, over secured, which I think every good flat better um, does that. Hasn't moved since uh, since I've been pulling it. And this pit trailer, I like it because uh, the wheels are totally covered, so we can actually put a lot of stuff back here. There's some. Uh, farm equipment that's too high so he'll take off the wheels block it chain it down and then strap all the wheels back here versus like an xl a trail king or a fontaine they just have spacers in between the in between the wheels and just kind of a waste wasted space but i think they're trying to save weight very very interesting setup it's starting to snow again i don't know if you can see it but this is what's holding this up we're taking it to like a, a mine facility and they said they're having trouble getting their own trucks up out of the mine. It's just too slippery and you know, we can't go down it, come up it with all this weight. Very, very unique. And here's your hydraulic pistons and he takes pride in his ride. So it's all done up very nice inside and out. That's your ride height. get my boot get my boot under there that's about it so i already know there's a couple truck stops i can't get into well 
starting to snow again, so I'm getting back in the truck. Come out. 